Porsche CEO is all the only sub boxer you'll see is if it's in sandwich form. See what I did there, AK? I like it. All right, a couple of idiot car thieves fail and burn, quite literally, and McLaren's MP4 with its roof chopped off is coming soon. Plus, we have a sexy new hump day girl of the week for you because, well, it's Wednesday. And that's all today right here on Fast Lane Daily, hosted by me. I go by the name Derek. Get the ultimate oil change with Royal Purple. High performance motor oil and extended life filter. Royal Purple traps 99.99% of harmful contaminants. And you get extended performance and protection between changes. Get the ultimate oil change with Royal Purple. Before we get started, I'd just like to thank all the fans for the kind words that you guys said yesterday. Uh, I would also like to let you guys know that my grandmother had the nickname Leadfoot Lena because she would drive extremely fast. And she had turbo cars, everything. So, uh, yeah, so I appreciate that. So thank you. Anyway, let's get to the news. You know how last week we talked about how Porsche was planning on making an entry-level sports car in 2017 to slot below the Boxster? Remember I said this? New entry-level Porsche Roadster. Yeah. Well, apparently, that's not happening now. And the sub Panamera Pejun, or Pejun, however you'd like to call it, will be delayed as well. We know this info is accurate because a German newspaper interviewed Porsche CEO Matthias Mueller, who said a sub Boxster model, quote, would do no good to the brand if we were to lose traditional Porsche customers, unquote. Then he said it would take five or six years at least to get the ball rolling on a new sedan slotted below the Panamera, codenamed the Pejun. Pajun. I don't know. How would you say that? Uh, Pajun? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, that thing might make a 2017 debut with a shooting break following the launch. What we do know is that the new small SUV, the Macan, is confirmed for production soon. Okay, now to really confuse you. What if this interview's info is all just a big lie by Porsche just to hide the real plans from the competitors? You see that? Now who's clever, Porsche, right? Actually, we have no idea. I'm genuinely confused. All I know is Porsche is still going to make good cars and make a ton of dough doing so. Am I right, Ian? Right. All right. Car theft is never fun. Well, for the person who's getting their car stolen, I would imagine the thief thinks it's fun and gets some sort of exhilarating high from it. Anyway, a good security system should keep thieves from causing any harm to your beloved ride. Unfortunately, some thieves have tempers, and apparently in Long Island, New York, if you can't steal a whip, burning it provides some satisfaction. A car dealership security camera caught a couple would-be autojackers trying to nab a 2012 Audi S5 and they failed terribly, then returned to set it on fire before piecing out. So they tried to steal it, left, came back, set it on fire. Retarded. All I know is that uh, these post-fire picks came from Jalopnik, but no word on the arsonists who have a $50,000 car crime under their belts. I'm sure their mothers are proud. AK, did you hear about that? I did. Yeah, out in Long yeah, Island. Yeah. Crazy. Strong, Strong Island. Strong Island. Car and driver has confirmed a convertible MP4-12C will be copping production styles very soon. No real surprise a spider was expected, especially since we've seen a spy shot or two of mules. But the news does mean the public should have a model to look at this year. The convertible model should retain the twin turbo 3.8 liter V8 with 593 horsepower from its coupe sibling. This engine should also be the base for whatever successor is coming from McLaren to revive the F1 supercar thrills. Also looks like McLaren wants a full model lineup in the future, and I'm not talking about like Lambo SUVs and all that kind of stuff, but maybe a sedan, possibly. Well, as long as us normal folks still can't afford it, you'll know you're still doing the right thing. <laughs> right, McLaren? That's all I'm saying. It sure will be expensive. All right, do you guys know what day it is? Wednesday? It is Wednesday, AK. But it's also Hump Day Girl of the Week, and uh -huh. boom! <laughs> Mary Eve Dufo. It looks like Dufault, <laughs> but I guess it's Dufo. She's a Canadian model, spokeswoman. Oh, and did I mention she happens to race cars? Yeah, boom. Danica Who is right. She's been in many races, including the Nationwide Series, ARCA Series, Skip Barber, Formula Renault, and the list goes on and on. Either way, she's a hot chick behind the wheel apparently loves wearing bathing suits and looking pissed while doing it. Boom. Why are you so angry? You need a spanking. All right. Thanks, AK. <laughs> anyway, Mary Eve, I think you should be happy, especially because now you have joined the elite ranks of being a Fastlane Daily Hump Day Girl of the Week. Aren't you proud? You should be. Three, two, one, AK. 
Okay. <laughs> Try it again. Okay. All right. That'll wrap it up for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. We're on Twitter, twitter.com slash Daily. We're also on Facebook. You can go there and like us, facebook.com slash Daily, and YouTube, subscribe. And we're on iTunes. We're back on iTunes. So go over there and watch us there if you'd like. And just FYI, we are currently setting up an online t-shirt store. More info on that very soon. I know a lot of you have been asking. We are working on it. All right, I will talk to you guys and probably 10 girls tomorrow. I'm just assuming that's how many watch the show. Bye. show go today, Derek D? Yeah, it went pretty good. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's a Wednesday. Yep. It's always fun when you got girls in the episode, right? But the news does mean the public should have a model to look at this year. The convertible, the convertible. All right, do you guys know what time it is? Oh, wait, I usually don't say what time it is on Wednesday. I say what day it is. Hump Day Girl of the Week was correct, Ian. Thank you. That's right. And who is it? Bam. Mary Eve Default. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.